Greetings and peace be unto you. I am back with part two. I think I'm amped up. That's why I'm like, I feel like I'm yelling. So let me calm down a little bit. Okay. So this is part two. Hear me to write three days again. Sudden destruction and death. Lying about the times. Truth revealed. This is confirmation. People dropping dead. Lying to the Holy Ghost. Like Ananias and Sapphira. I'm still on 7-4. Revealing wickedness, judgment, and death. We could cut off. This is a vision that I had. There was a clock, and the clock was counting down. This was maybe like a couple years ago. The, the clock was counting down, and it stopped at the number 11 and the number 14 on this clock. 11 is in, finish, final. The 11th hour is what the meaning sees gave me. He also gave me chaos before, but uh, those these are the only ones I wrote. 14, for me, is deliverance and rescue, salvation. Revelations 14 and 10 is what he gave after that. Drink the wine of God's wrath. Revelation 16, 19, Revelation 18 and 3. This is what he had me to write again. Dream. In the church building. I was in the church building. I put money in the collection plate, and I took the money back out the co collection plate. I stood up and I rebuked the church and I left the people in the church building and I left. That was a dream. False and evil attacking God's flock. This was a dream that I had some years ago. Hear me to write it again. Overcome. We are taking a stand. True church. Fighting wickedness. The uninvited. Make sure you're separated from them. You do not want to be a part of their plagues. That's why he told us to come out from among them. That you guys have to listen to this. Like, if you're unsure of people, ask him about everybody. He's gonna let you know. You're gonna feel in your spirit some kind of way, but you keep battling back and forth as I did some years ago. Power is the true power of God. Energy is man-made. He wanted me to say this again. 323. I had a vision. I heard in the spirit last trumpet and then I, I also heard an earthquake which it was rocks crumbling and such as that okay on 7 14 21 prophetic vision last in time god moves on the words he gives truth this end is different than many have imagined some won't believe until they see jesus coming in the clouds for all to see it will be too late He's keeping us so good in these judgments that you guys really don't think that it is the end, but it is. That's why he said, you don't, he doesn't, you guys don't want him to come on you as a thief in the night because he said that you'll still be celebrating, giving in marriage and all these different things, but you got to make sure you're ready. You don't want to be a nefarious dog doing those things. You want to make sure you're doing those things, but you're also, you have obtained your salvation. You're a hundred percent sure. You don't want to be 95 and below sure you want to be 100 percent sure that's it 324 new power divine power this power is the wrath of god sudden disasters disasters no recovery is shortened for his elect's sake testimony of two men is true last seven plagues This was a title that I wrote down in 2022, and the title read, 2022 has brought a huge wave of celebrity deaths. This is back in 2022. He wanted me to write this in confront as confirmation. 2921, dream, agent used to destroy. This was in relating another video. He took me to the date that he had me to write this down. Agent used to destroy, that can be anybody. If you don't have Jesus Christ, that can be anybody. 21822 vision of people running and in panic this is what he had me to write down again 7 4 2023 11 26 2020 last one more level is what he said and that's when everything broke out my last phase broke out for me and this was around the time my mama transitioned my sweet my soldier <sighs> okay overcome sorceries Okay. This was an old prophetic word. Jesus has raised up apostles, excellent in hearing and sight, destroying the kingdom of darkness, raising up the kingdom of God. Spirit.
spirit-filled believers chosen to undergo change, going two by two to usher in the King of Kings, Jesus. 5-11-2014, revival of the last days. You have me to write 5-11-2014, revival of the last days. So if you see people that are just now saying this for now, this has been occurring years ago. Gathering his anointed ladder to heaven. That was another dream that he gave me. Ladder up and down from heaven to earth, heaven to earth. He has been doing that. 5721, Apostles Commission. Last coming after all others is what he initially said to me. And then later on, he gave me first coming before all others. Those that are last will be first. And those that are first will be last. So he also gave me another message on the truck, which I'm still on 7423. Velocity, which means speed. Quickly is what I hear the papa say. Nefarious dog. Oh my gosh. This was on 74, y'all. So I was at a customer's and I don't know if it was because I was in the back woods once again and they don't like my kind or something. I don't know. But this lady went off. When I tell you she went off, she went off. All the way. And so, I called a nefarious dog female. Two of them. And so, I asked her respectfully. I was like, um. She said, you need to slide your tandems. So, I was like, okay. I'm going to. I was like, what do you want me to do after that? When I tell you this, this witch went off, she went off. And I was like, I said, ma'am. <laughs> and I just started like laughing under my mask, of course. And so I was like, ma'am, I just asked you a question. Like, it's not that, it's not that serious is what I said. I mean, okay. And so that's, I left it at that. So I went inside. I didn't want to deal with her after that. Cause she just was nasty and she was going on and on. And I just kind of like dismissed her and went about my business. So I went in the building and I asked the other lady that was sitting down and she was like, she can help you. And I was like, well, she's being rude. Big mistake. She's being rude. Can you come out and help me? She was rude too. And I'll be darned. The person that had the trailer before me left the straps in her. So I had to climb up behind in there and get the straps, pull the straps down. So when I went in to get my paperwork, after I slid my tandems and all of that, did everything I needed to do. I went in. And I asked for a manager. He ended up being a guy. I know he probably didn't do anything about it, but I just saw him. I was like, look, listen. I'm not sure what the rudeness is about, but we all need to be professional. And I can't remember what else the Holy Spirit gave me, and I said what I had to say. And left it at that. And so when I went back, I had to wait. I had to go drop the trailer away. And then the lady that checked me out, she was really nice. And so... Sometimes you have to speak up because I know I didn't do anything. Like most of the time, I'm like listening to music, I'm singing and just having a good old time talking to the papa, sightseeing, the bobble neck looking back and forth at everything. And so it don't take all that, but that's just how the enemy comes with because they're empty vessels, y'all. You're thinking that it's been this way for a very long time. Y'all got to get this, this. It has been like this for years and years and years that demons are jumping in people and it's more prevalent now. They just spazzing out just quickly. And so let me, let me move on. On 7-5-2023, I'm, I found finally made it to 2023 i This was a headline. This was a headline. The pup had me right. NHC watching for a tropical storm waves is what he had me to underline. And this was in Florida. Um, strong hill and strong winds, Illinois, Texas, Chicago, Kansas, uh, uh, several other areas that from 7-5 until now. Severe thunderstorms were everywhere pretty much. Nebraska had winds up to 70 to 80 miles per hour. Um, this is a headline. The Shark Sands Beach Gores running. This is another headline. Palestine. Palestinians fear escalation after destructive West Bank assault. It's what that Papa hit me right now. This was a dream. This was a, a crazy witch from training. And I'm going to tell the training video. I may tell it today, maybe. 
she in this particular dream before she started breaking out and doing her witchery and i'm going to tell you about the two witches because they both one admitted to being a witch but she knew the other one was a witch as well so it was amazing but it wasn't just two it was several witches and warlocks in trade and so my my last phase overcoming sorcery and so it doesn't matter where you're at you can anywhere can be your training ground or your training whatever you're doing it could be work anywhere and so in the dream the papa warned me and was like she was trying to turn people against me in the, in the dream because every time i saw her i would go the other way and i'm gonna tell what she did like she did a lot of cursing of people and all kind of crap it just it was a trip y'all two eight following and following and annoying me this is like that type of spirit one of the spirits she had in her was um, that vexing and annoying spirit but I kept getting away from her as well as in spirit lock the door is what the papa had me to write after that two seven so this was at 11 34 and it took me to two seven and I went to 27, but I had to ask the papa, and he was like, 72. So I 72 door locked. So he confirmed it for me. Okay. Dream. In this dream, this female tried to stop me. I snatched away from her and said, No. And I wrote after that, No one can stop me. I have the true and living God. No one can stop me. See, you know, Ferris dogs, y'all ain't never dealt with nobody that truly walk with Jesus that he's truly in them and he's tearing y'all behind something y'all thinking that it's us doing it that truly walk with Jesus no he tearing y'all behind up deliberately deliberately because we don't mess with nobody but he's showing you his power that this little crappy power y'all got on earth it ain't crap you can't do nothing with the true and living God nor his people just so you know I'm just reminding you I'm reminding you and the like a fire awaits for you. And if you close your eyes first, hell will be your holding place. Good. I'm so glad. I, I just, I, I'm sick of y'all. I can't stand y'all. I hate what my papa hates. That's just what it is. On one three, this is dream. I was trying to help the church. A symbol of brother was attacking. He confirmed it again. Locked the door. So it was three times. He took me to three different dreams which these are not the only ones I've had several over the years and so wicked try to deceive that you have no hope they can't kill you so they try to convince you to take your own life don't do it if there's somebody that ever see this don't do it it's not worth it because God can take you places greater than you no matter what you're sitting in this day God can do things that people, your mind will be blown. Like he will astonish you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like all the hell that I've gone through, only his goodness. I'm telling you, it's nobody but him that has brought me this far. I'm telling you, nobody but Jesus, nobody but Jesus. And so so the Papa stated that there are a few that I've been watching. And you are very depressed. I have been there as far as nobody could help me. Nobody could help me. Nobody but Jesus. I had to get at his feet. Nobody could help me. God has greater for you. You have me to write this down. You can make it. I already said this. I was there. I know what it's like. And Jesus did help me. I'll continue to tell the good when I get to that point. But for right now, people need to get in line with Jesus and repent and turn to him quickly. 7523, you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Jesus believe in you. You can do it. He has greater for you. Do not believe the lies of Satan and those around you. Y'all, I roll solo. I roll solo. And I have a few people that, you know, hey, they will forever be in my heart. But I'm at peace being by myself. I am. This is the best peace I've ever had in my life to Jesus peace. There's no greater peace than that. Jesus peace, his joy. Nobody can take it away from me. Okay, I'm still on 7-5-2023. I promise if I can overcome, anyone can. It was continuous hell for many years. 
but it has made me incredibly strong in Jesus Christ. Nobody can take him away from me and nobody can snatch me out of his hands. I belong to them. Keep going. You can do it. You really can do it. Jesus love you and I love you. Peace be unto you, to your heart, and to your mind. In the mighty name of Jesus, be free this day. Be free this day. It is yours. It is yours. Just, just receive it. Receive it. That's all you have to do. It's just a step. It's that simple. Changing your thought process through Christ Jesus. Okay, four or five. Let's see. Yeah, four or five, 2023. 20, oh, this was another incident I had. This. So I, they sent me to this little tight behind store, this little tight dock. It was only two docks there. There was no room on the side. There was crates on the side. Not much room in the front. There was this huge light post and then a, a little narrow little place you can go on, on the side of the building. And then you had the building. It was very, very tight. Y'all, it took me about 20 minutes to get in that goddamn dock. I'm trying to tell you, it took me 20 minutes to get up in there. I'll be there when I get out the dock. I pull around the building. Go to close my doors, y'all. They left a pallet on the back of the truck. Do y'all know I was, I was like the little red angry bird. I was so mad with them. But I couldn't go off and I couldn't be mean to, mean to them. The guy was so nice. He looked like he could have been my brother. As far as like, he had like gray eyes and he just looked like he could have been my brother. But he was so nice and he was born in June. So I couldn't even be, I didn't stay mad, but I was upset. Because I'm like, man, now, now I got to sit here and try to get back up in this dock again. But I think I did a little better the second time. But anyway, let me move on. 7722. Hear me, write it again. Breaking, help, sudden, unexpected change. 3823. Powerful, strong ruler, joy, good news. He's been giving me good news for, for four months now. And I've been hearing other true prophets say it as well. Several options is something else that he has given me. But it has been difficult for me because he's given me so many different options and it's been hard for me to like choose one. So you try to do all of it, but then you stretch yourself then trying to do every little thing. And so 3923 is when I believe the other person said they had a dream of KFC as well. 31023 had me to write right after that rebellion and lawlessness is what he had me to write so that was the flip side to the other dream is what he had me to write down off of that okay three three for me 33 is promise and how he started for me years ago he took me to chapter 33 of all pretty much all the prophets as such as that i told you guys i asked for a lot of things in the bible i did on three four which took me to 4-3. A truck driver tried to bully me to move out of his way. I was waiting for another uh, driver to move. And this has happened a couple times where they just hold their highway horn to make me move. I bet I sat my behind right there. I sat right there and waited until he moved. And then I moved. And he was so mad with me, but I did not care. Because I understand sometimes guys run out of time. But... I don't get what being impatient and rude is about. I don't get that. It don't take all that. It don't. But even with that pallet incident, they kept apologizing. They weren't rude about it. They were real nice about it, too. On 7-5, I wrote, shifting every hour. That's how the Papa does it at times. And when it's shifting the spirit, it's going to shift in the natural it's going to shift to the natural. That means it's complete in spirit and then it's going to manifest in the natural. He gave me the number three for completion. Seven, four, headline, golf size hill in Wyoming, 60 miles per hour winds. Seven, six, he had me to write five, eight, 23. Jesus wants us all to have close relationship with him. When you do that, let's see. When you do that, it means you remain at his feet. 
because that's so important. That's the only way that you're going to be able to hear, whether it be in your spirit, whether it's audible, whatever it may be, you need to hear him in this time. I'm telling you, you need to hear. Him. It is imperative that you do. He wants me to say this. Do you, do you guys understand that on the day of the Lord, you won't be saying goodbye to those that you've known all of your life if they did not obtain their salvation. You understand that. We're going to be separated immediately. We're either going to be caught up and they're going to be carted off to the lake of fire. That saddens me in a sense that he gave opportunity. He sent his messages. He sent his prophets. Although they weren't speaking on things that were popular, they were saying, oh, get your salvation. Repent. Turn back. But you, you didn't do it. You didn't do it. As believers, all of us are mandated to share the gospel and then it's up to them. And that's what gives me peace. If I've shared it with you already and you reject that, then I'm at peace. And right now I feel total peace in my spirit because I, I pound the pavement, pavement and all of that, reached out to so many people. I did my part. So he also had me to write new heaven, new earth. You must be renewed. You must believe and then receive. You must believe in Jesus and receive the spirit. That's your seal. Freedom, victory. He had me to write Jeremiah 33 and 3. And it was in a title as well as confirmation. This is also confirmation. Fear not, for I am with you. This is for the people of God. He's with us. Do not fear. This is not for you to fear. This is for you to make sure your spirit is tight and make sure that you hear clearly. Make sure you're at the feet of Jesus. And jubilee for the righteous. This is what it is. Another round of destruction is what he having to write. Judgment. He also having to write on 4723, a dream. I was speaking to a lady in my dream about my gift that the Papa gave me to travel in spirit. Five, five. Joseph helped save a nation is what he having to write. He also having to write gift. God, let me see. God gives something He gives you as a gift. Is what I wrote: anointed, consecrated, or made sacred, dedicated to God. That's anointed. Everybody ain't anointed, so we need to understand that clearly. Whom God chose or choose, He anoints. Holy Spirit, our oil, our seal. That's our oil. Let's see. Also, gift in Webster is a natural ability or talent. Okay. On 510, divine recompense. Answered, release. Breaking evil has ended he lets me know when evil has ended and I, and most times y'all i'd be so grateful i'd be like oh papa y'all sometimes i get like you you can feel it and so i'll be like oh thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah i'd be so grateful let's see i wrote end okay. i don't know what they say i don't know what i wrote Okay, I see. Each individual must make their own choice. It's up to you. It's up to you. As you grow in spirit, you are no longer attached to things of this world. It's true. Your mind and your heart and spirit is you, is pretty much your in heavenly places. And so, you don't mean to be like to yourself, but it's just you get to a point where this world can't offer you anything and you'll just want what it is the Papa has promised you. And that's pretty much all you can pretty much think of. On 7 6 I wrote, anointed, God chose. He chooses you and then he sets you apart for a, a specific task. That's why he anoints you. 11 12 22 
This was a dream he had me to write down that I had on the boot thief. And in the dream, the symbols were camo, palm print, attempted, she, the boot thief, attempted to turn others against me as well. Lies were told, false accusations, battle and warfare. This is the one I had on my combat boots in there. And so he often lets me know when someone is speaking ill against me, I'll just ask him, he told me, or he'll say betrayal to get me to ask him questions about people and such as that. And so he also had me to write, God has proved me and I'm good with that. There is a difference in testimony and trying to prove yourself before man. That's an abomin abomination anyway. Especially man that's made in the flesh like me. Like, I don't understand like years ago people got away away from testimony. Testimony, I used to love to hear testimony when I was a shorty, I really did. People stand up and be like, I used to be a hope, but Jesus, I, I literally heard a testimony like that before y'all. And it's just, it sets other people free. Like, oh, you used to be this way, but God did that for you. He can do it for me too. And so I'm one, I'm gonna always tell testimony because it literally do set you free. On one ten, I wrote, yes, Jesus loves me. This is one of my favorite songs of all time. I even remember the witch stood in front of me and started singing the song because she heard it in the spirit because this song always used to make me cry. And every time I see it, it makes me smile because I know that he loves me. I know that he does and he loves me. You guys too you just gotta receive it and that's it victory over bondage this is another confirmation and this was yesterday i saw this headline from i want to say it was cbn and it said children dropping dead another confirmation is what he gave freedom over and over again too many times to count if you are in bondage to stay be free to stay in your heart, and in your mind, and in your spirit. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You should be free. No chains, no bondage. Nothing should be holding you, nothing. And so, uh, yesterday I had a visitation. Usually it's uh, the glory of God. Usually it's just beautiful. That's, I, I just, I have no words. Beautiful is just not even a word good enough for it. There was a shift in the spirit on 7-9, which was yesterday, and in the natural, into the natural, and I feel it. Like, it's a change, overwhelming peace and freedom. Like, you totally do feel free in your heart and in your mind and just total peace and joy, regardless. When the sun set free, it's free, indeed. When the sun set free, is free indeed nobody can bind you if he has set you free nobody can bind you nobody people of god trust god trust his plan he has a great plan for us and it's greater than any of us can ever imagine allow him to continue to do the work on you walk in your Calling whatever he has called you to do walk into your destiny whatever he has called you to do it's not going to be like everybody else's we are all made unique up under him and he gives us unique things to do it's not going to look like everybody else just receive it have a blessed and measurable day people of god and to my sweet loves if you have not obtained your salvation this day get your salvation there is no need to wait you can't fix you only the Holy Spirit can. Just believe in Jesus and receive his spirit. Any second, any minute, any hour, any day, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. And to the various thoughts, I still say the same. Go to hell fire. Until the next video, y'all.